I was obsessive with my thinking. I was very addicted to my thinking. I was very attached to what I thought and the meaning I gave it. So to be able to be free from that, you know, it's like having weekends during the week. I used to worry a lot about sort of going to meetings and, and being with people I didn't know. I love networking meetings now. I love going there with no agenda. For me, that's huge, absolutely huge. And it makes me smile, and it makes my heart burst open every time I start talking about it. It's joyous, yeah, is how I put it, joyous. It allows you to just see, look, this is how we're creating the world. You can still be down. I'm not saying you'll suddenly go, oh, everything's great. But that knowing, that certainty that I can see it differently, it just lightens the load. It's the lightness of it that, that I really enjoy. You don't have to carry anything. For me, it was like, it was like an expansive feeling, a feeling of opportunity and, and what's possible, as opposed to feeling small and kind of tight and shriveled and very insular. That inner essence, that well-being that is innate within all of us, it's unshakable. You, nobody and nothing can touch it. It's like having a, a very light room, but the windows are really big, and the sun is just the sun is just pouring in, and there's nothing to do but to be in that moment and bask in it. You know, just really be there. And I, th I remember just becoming very hopeful, not looking for hope, just that hope came to me. You know, end state. Yeah, and it stayed. And it stayed. And it stayed.